What is going on guys? Today we are looking at 98 Ramos. I did have a consideration between his 98 and his 96. Obviously, back for my personally uh, preference for Ramos, I absolutely adored him at a right back and he was absolutely phenomenal. The headband, the long hair, absolutely incredible. But you can't miss up on a 98. I get what they're trying to do. And obviously, I believe that 96 was a reference to his team of the season. We will have a look at that in the overall review of, obviously, his career since FIFA 10. Obviously, that is what footbin goes back to. He is 35 years old and he's been in FIFA literally as long as I can remember. And I think pretty much every year he's been absolutely insane. Obviously, over the past few years, he is getting older. So pace-wise and all of that is getting a little bit shorter. But... He still stands at a very, very good rating. And honestly, the informs, the specials he gets are what make the game, in my opinion. He is an absolutely iconic centre-back. And more than likely, we will see him as an icon centre-back as he finishes his career. Um, I believe he may be going somewhere else. So I don't think he'll be finished as of yet. But when he does become an icon, I feel like he's making himself into that, that, that top spot. I really can't see him being rated anything lower than 95 in my opinion he has been one of the best center backs for a long time like he is absolutely incredible so we've got the 98 he is 1.2 mil an 89 rated sbc an 87 two 86s an 85 and an 84 if i'm correct let me just double check no i apologize no 85 it's an 84 and an 83 so to be honest, it's not that bad. The the big ones, obviously, the 89 and the 87 are going to be the hardest to complete. The two 86s for me weren't awful. Obviously, we do have upgrade packs out. So you are, you are basically picking between doing almost just one and a half icon uh, pack or doing Ramos. And I think for me with Ramos is he's a guaranteed card. Personally, we've done one icon pack so far. Check the video out below. Spoiler. We got Clivert, so 150,000 coins worth of a player or getting a 1.2 million player. It was kind of obvious what we were going to do next, and it just had to be. He is just Ramos. Like, look at the stats. Everything is absolutely fantastic. You whack an engine on him, and literally every position on the pitch, he is higher rated than 93 overall on every position. That is just phenomenal, like genuinely phenomenal. He is a 98 rated centre back. Everything about him is just fantastic. I cannot wait to give this guy a go. I thought we may not be able to do it today, but we've managed to get it done. I, I don't know how, but we've managed to get it done. Let's jump into him and see what Ramos is all about. When is it Ramos's time? Honestly, this Donny, I can imagine. Like we've we've used Maldini now for X amount of weeks. He is just next level. To have someone who's four ratings higher and just what Ramos is, I, I, I cannot wait to just have him in weekend league. And it's a shame that it's come so late. I know, I know that obviously he didn't announce it until kind of like a couple of weeks back. So there's no way they could give him an end of era card without actually knowing that he's going away from Real Madrid. Um, it, it's just absolutely insane. It's a, it's a real end of an era, which is sad at the same time. Like we've we've lost a lot of good players. Obviously, Serie A, we've seen loads. Obviously, we've seen Puyol go. We've seen Xavi and Iniesta kind of go as well. It's just nuts to see such a transition. And it's kind of like a big one for me because I don't remember the the likes of Maldini, of, of Cruyff and all of that. Whereas the Ramoses, the, the Schneiders, the Rooneys, all of them. And even, to be honest, Ronaldo and, and Messi are not too far. Even though I do think that they're going to just keep going forever. It is crazy to see all of these players slowly go in and, and a, a, a new level, a new wave of players coming in. Has Ramos played him off? I don't know if he has. 98 Lewandowski doing a very, very good job of going onside. That is poor defending there. That is, there should be definitely somebody there. Ramos steps up and just takes the loose ball. And we're on that counter until a very poor pass. The one thing I do like with Ramos, the 1.2 mil... I really don't see that being... I see that being relatively cheap, to be honest. He's going to play that little ball. Ramos is always going to have that. Interception stats absolutely for days. But I think, for me, that Ramos is not that expensive, to be honest. Think about it. 1.2 mil for a rating lower than max. 
The one thing for Ramos is literally any position he can do. You could whack a hunter on him and genuinely I think you could probably play with him as striker. Yes, he may not be as clinical as, as someone like an Mbappe, but the fact that that is actually plausible is nuts. Heading, physicality, defending, he's just going to have to a tee. Like, there, there is no competition, I don't think. And I think, literally, if you've got him in the team, you're constantly winning. Defensive battles, that, that, that's what I meant. Not, not, not always winning. Like, defending does win games, but goals win games. <laughs> I think one thing for me, for Ramos, that has always been fantastic is he's almost like the model centre-back. Lean, strong, pacey, obviously has that aggression side of him. And it... Oh, good goal. It's totally different to how defenders maybe used to be. They used to be a little bit bigger, maybe a bit more stocky, and that's how they got it. They they kind of got away with pace not being as vital, whereas I think Ramos is literally the new breed of centre-backs that was just phenomenal. And I think that is mainly because he was a right-back. Like, he was never a centre-back to begin with, even though if you've ever watched clips of him being a right-back, he practically ran that whole defence anyway, which is just the, the iconic part of him. So it is interesting that they have given us a 96 right-back as well. I thought that's something that they should do. Um, obviously, that's where it all began, which is just incredible, whereas a centre-back definitely is where he really... He made his mark as such, so it's incredible to see. And it's lovely to see such a high rating as well. A lot of the time, they don't do them justice. They, they give him a 93, 92. And you're kind of thinking, this is a, a player that is, is probably going to be one of the greatest footballers. Like In terms of defensive ability, I think the name of Ramos is known throughout. I don't think if you talk about centre-backs in this era, like, yes, you had your Ger uh, your, Lam your Gerrards, your, your uh, John Terry's, your Vidic's, your Rio's, but I think Ramos's name is literally worldwide. Ramos just sticking to him like glue. And he makes a ball forward. And look at that pass. Honestly, this 98 is going to be a cheat code. So going into the overall for Ramos then. So as we can see, the 98 is here. And we have got the 96. So if we do take the reset off in terms of chemistry style, you can see the difference. So obviously shooting is more on the... Okay, no, in fact, that's wrong. So the pace is more on the right back, more passing, and more one more dribbling. So obviously on the, the other version, you've got more shooting, more defending, and more physical, obviously being a centre-back. The thing I think is, is the, the funniest one is... Even if you play him off chem, he probably is still even better than, than his other card. Yes, you could just go and whack an engine on him. And just look at this. 93 up top, 98, 7, 6, all down below. It is just a magnificent statted card. Unfortunately, he is only a 3-star, three 3-star. Three I would love a 4-star weak foot at the very minimum. That would make this card just that even better. But we've got team player, power, head of leadership already. And this, this is the spectacular career of Ramos. Obviously, FIFA 10. This, this is the guy I remember. The band, the long hair, the right back. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. If you've ever watched clips of Ramos defending, it's the one to look at. Obviously, then we kind of go into FIFA 12. We have that transition. And to really top off the transition, we, we cut the hair. We take the, 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 the long hair away and it just becomes Ramos. And as you go by, we get team of the season, team of the year, team of the season after team of the season after team of the season every single year. I don't think, did he miss one? FIFA 19, he missed it, but technically he got a team of the year. So to be honest, you didn't need one. Obviously, last year we got a team team of the season and this year we got a team of the year again no team of the season but I think one or the other is still absolutely spectacular we managed to get three team of the years in a row no four is that four and I think are these team of the years or these team of the seasons these are team of the years so how many team of the season uh, years in the row one two three four five six seven team of the years in a row just unreal like genuinely unreal back then like back in these sorts of times it was practically la liga anyway it was real madrid barca so you, you kind of just had to pick who you wanted really uh but ramos is just throughout the entire time has been incredible this team of the season card was amazing last year and then now we have got a spectacular team uh, end of era card like obviously the the team of the year unfortunately has now dropped its value massively like surely it's it's gonna have plummeted from yesterday 
Yeah, so it took, it, it, to be honest, it wasn't that bad. Like, 500 is still pretty good, but you can see it took a huge hit, going down almost 140k in a matter of a couple of hours. But that's just what happens when you do get this sort of upgrade. He is uh, going to be an iconic centre-back for the rest of his life, and hopefully, when he does retire, we do get an icon pretty sharpish from him, because I think he's going to be one of the best centre-backs we'll have. It'll be Ramos and Maldini. Obviously, you've got Rio there as well. Absolutely class. So for me, 100% 11 out of 10. Like, genuinely, this guy is just amazing. You can fit him, like I say, in pretty much every position. Yes, you'd probably want to go more defensive, obviously, but I think he literally could play any position and be absolutely outstanding in it. Centre-back was amazing. CDM, he did kind of venture out a little bit and we tried him a little bit in that midfield. He did well. He just does well. His, his strength is amazing. His turning, his just everything. So definitely, I would recommend if you have got the coins, go or, or at least got the fodder. Try and, try and grind it out. We've got 30 days of him to do him. You literally, you've just got an 89, 87, two 86s, an 84, and an 83. Even if you get these two uh, these two done first to get the kind of cheaper SBCs out the way, then maybe you try and go for the 89 and work your way down. He is 100% worth every penny. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.